Well, Crystal Palace have a fairly good record here at Main Road. This is the 11th time the sides have met in league matches. Palace have won three and drawn two. Bright to right. Redfern in support. Comfortable one for Eric Nixon. And no offside flag against Bright. Oh, and an incident there, which leaves Bright down on the floor. And Eric Nixon, it was, who kicked out at the Crystal Palace striker while he was on the floor. Nixon had to quickly come off his line initially to end the danger caused by Bright. It'll be a free kick when the game resumes. And Cox header, Stewart, Lake, and Lake is through. And that's a goal from Paul Lake. The breakthrough that Manchester City wanted. Stewart was involved. He threaded the ball through to Paul Lake. And Lake slid the ball underneath George Wood's body. And with 68 minutes gone, City are in front. And now, of course, a dangerous time for City. And Nixon could be in trouble here. He's already been booked for an incident on the Crystal Palace striker. The referee is going over to have a word with his linesman. And if the linesman says that Nixon has stuck out his hand into the face of the striker, then it will mean that Nixon will be off. So what is Mr Deakin going to do? The City players anxious. He's gone into his notebook. And Nixon has been sent off. Eric Nixon sent off. And now more incidents on the touchline with Steve Redmond arguing with the linesman. What drama. There may even be a penalty at the end of all this. It's Steve Redmond, in fact, who's going in goal. And what an unenviable task with him facing a penalty, just to add to that dramatic incident involving Nixon. 71 minutes on the clock, just three minutes after City had broken the deadlock. And Neil Redfern with a chance to put Crystal Palace on level terms. Redfern versus Redmond. And just listen to that noise from the crowd. Well, Redfern scores. And poor Steve Redmond goes in goal and concedes a goal straight away from the penalty spot. Well, 18 minutes now for Manchester City to keep out the Crystal Palace attacks because that's what I'm sure it's going to be now. The home supporters attempting to lift their side and the referee could lose control here. Actually, bodies going down everywhere now. 
John Gidman is the latest player to be involved. And John Gidman goes into the referee's notebook. free kick for Crystal Palace and that's the goal Mark Bright is the player being congratulated City now with nine minutes to try and get at least a draw out of this game and it will be somewhat of a miracle if they do. Here's Gidman, White, the cross, Red Fern and a penalty! And it's going to be Paul Stewart with the job of equalising for Manchester City. Eight minutes to go. Paul Stewart versus George Wood and surely justice would be done if this went in and Stewart hits the post McNabb over the bar Paul Stewart hits the post as he did in the first half from a free kick and Cox had it Clements and right with some space. This cross hit Clements, but he'll get a second chance. Away by Gidman. And now Bright over the head of Steve Redmond. And Mark Bright. Wraps up the points for Crystal Palace. Eighty-six minutes gone. And that's three one to the visitors. And there goes the final whistle. The game that won't be remembered for the football, but will be remembered for that incident involving Eric Nixon, the city goalkeeper. It was dramatically sent off with City leading 1-0. Palace hit back with a penalty from Neil Redfern. A scramble goal that I think Mark Bright scored. And then Mark Bright wrapping up the points with a goal four minutes from time. In between, Paul Stewart missed the penalty. And Paul Lake had given City the lead in the 68th minute. But the referee, Mr Deakin, and in particular the linesman, Mr Smith, will not get a good reception from City supporters. A disappointing final result then. Manchester City 1, Crystal Palace 3.